Hello, this is a tutorial for creating what I call unconnected yarn overs in double knitting. I call them unconnected because they don't lock the two sides of the fabric together the way some methods for making yarn overs do. Uh, what is it that I'm talking about here? You can see I've got these diagonal lines on this very tiny swatch. These are the decreases. I've got a decrease followed by a yarn over in each case. And these are the holes made by the yarn over. So if you're wanting to create any kind of lace work in double knitting where you don't want the two sides of the fabric to get locked together when you produce your yarn over, this is how to do it. If you see on the other side, you can probably see a little bit more clearly those holes in the, the white side. Now they are holes that go all the way through the fabric. Uh, you can see through all the way to the other side. In connected yarn overs, uh, the fabrics are locked together in such a way so you can't really see through. You just get the colour of the reverse fabric showing through whereas in unconnected yarn overs you can see all the way through the work there with the holes. So how is it done? It's a two-stage process and the first stage is done on the first of two rows and the second stage is done on the second and I shall set up now and start knitting and I'll join you when I get to the place when I'm going to work my first yarn over. So here we are at the point where I want to create the first decrease. I'm, going, I'm doing a right-leaning diagonal here, so I'm going to be doing a uh, knit two together on the facing side. I have a tutorial about how to perform this kind of decrease, so I'm not going to go into detail here about how I do it, but I separate the two set stitch, sets of stitches, work a knit two together for the front side, bring the yarns forward, and then work an SSP, which is the corresponding decrease for the reverse side of the fabric. More details can be found on my specific tutorial for working right leaning decreases in uh, double knitting. Now what I've got here is I've got to the point where I want to make the yarn over. So all I do is bring one yarn, the green one is first because that's my background colour, the green yarn over and then the white yarn over. It's that simple. I always put my thumb onto those yarn overs to hold them in place then I just go ahead and knit the next stitch, swing the yarns forward and purl as you would in any other type of standard double knitting. And then I work along to the point where I want to make the next one, which is just a few more stitches further along this row. Here we are, I'm going to create another right leaning decrease, so I rearrange my stitch pairs into knit, knit, purl, purl work a knit two together for the first two, bring the yarns forward and work an SSP which is slip slip purl into the next two and then just as before I just make sure that my yarns are brought over the needle green one first, white one second, hold them in place and then knit the next stage that's all there is to it for the first uh, stage of working this kind of unconnected yarn over. The second stage, and the bit that keeps them apart, is how you knit into those yarn overs on the back side of the fabric. So I'm just going to work to the end of the row, turn it round, and I'll get to back to the point so I can show you exactly what I need. So here I am on the other side of my fabric, uh, just one pair of stitches before the two strands which are wrapped over the needle there. You can see that they're not quite as tidy as the other knit purl, knit purl strands, so they're easily identifiable and they'll likewise be at the top of your diagonal line so you know exactly where to find them. So I'm just going to work up to those by performing a normal knit and a normal purl with the right colours of fabric. And here are my two yarn over strands. As you can see, I'm working the, uh, the white colour as a background colour, so I'm knitting with the white and purling with the green. It just so happens that the way these uh, two yarns have sort of wrapped over each other, do you see how they cross there? That's not a problem. I always just sort of pull them round so I've got the white on the wrong side of the green. Normally I would knit into the first stitch as it as pre presents itself to me, but this time it's important that I knit my knit colour first of all. So I'm going to just go through that and pick it out into a place where I can knit it. So you see how they're sort of wrapped around each other. I'm just going to go under just the white strand and then knit as normal except I'm not yet going to slip that strand off the needle. 
going to leave it there until I've worked the purl strand. So I'm going to pull my yarns forward, then I'm going to insert the needle as if to purl, which I'm going to do, under just the green strand, purl with the green yarn, take that back through, and then I can slip both yarns off the needle and return my yarns to the back and carry on working. That might look a little bit confusing the first time you're presented with it, so I'll get to the point where I can do it again on my other diagonal column of yarn overs and decreases. Here we are, this is the last pair, so I'm going to work those as usual. Now of course I'm knitting with the white, so I only want to knit into the white. It can be a little bit fiddly sometimes to separate them as you want them, but you see I've just I've ignored the green, it's still there. I've gone in under the white, wrap the yarn and pull through, leaving the white strand on the needle. I bring the two uh, working yarns forward, so I'm going to purl, and then I go into just the green stitch. Sometimes these two don't want to come apart because they become good friends. But there I am under just the green, the white one's still there on the needle. Purl that, take it back through through as normal, and then and only then slip both strands off the needle, return the working yarns to the back, and continue working. That's all there is to it. You make the connected yarn over on the one side, the unconnected yarn over, I'm sorry, on the one side, and then you uh, knit into them together on the back, one at a time, but making sure you, you don't pull the strands off. And there we have a fourth yarn over knit together column of stitches there.